What's going on? We back. Murder Street Sports talking in the building. Appreciate everybody for checking in. We're going to talk about Dwayne Casey. Two things that he failed to do with the Detroit Pistons that he was brought to, here to do. Before we do that, make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. We won't miss another video with Snowy in the city. If you're in Detroit, man, I'm definitely live from Detroit. Y'all know what it is, man. But once again, appreciate everybody for checking in, man. And um, pretty much, man, uh, Dwayne Casey has failed to develop um, Stanley Johnson. And he's failed to make Reggie Jackson the player that he said he was going to do. Now, is this more of an indictment on Dwayne Casey or more of an indictment on Reggie Jackson and Stanley Johnson? I think it's an indictment on both the players. I think Dwayne Casey's proved that he could develop talent from Toronto. Um, you know, he developed DeRozan, developed Kyle Lowry, really, really re rejuvenated Kyle Lowry's career. He was pretty much a journeyman bouncing team from team from what I remember. And he's the only successful one. Out of the three from Villanova, it was Alan Ray and, and uh, Randy Foy, I think it was. Um, you know, he's the only successful one, you know, close to making an all-star team. None of them dudes, even close, other than him, close to making an all-star team. He's done it with, 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 with Kyle Lowry. And Kyle Lowry, he actually has more heart and more will than, um, you know, Reggie Jackson. But Reggie Jackson has more physical, attribute, better physical attributes than Kyle Lowry. Longer, stronger, tougher, got the body. But Reggie Jackson, you know, he quit on the team. And the reason he quit is because he can't play the brand of basketball he want to play. It's his way or the highway. And what I mean by that is he wants to get out there and chuck up shots like Russell Westbrook. Probably the worst thing that happened for his career was sitting behind Westbrook and thinking that's how the position is supposed to be played. And I need to play the position like that. And when he can't play like that and run and gun and chuck shots up and shoot at will, this is what you get. You get a, a, a dude that's mentally debilitated. Um, you know, a dude that's just going through the motions and they got shackles on him. He has limitations in his offense because, you know, he, he just trigger happy, you know, and people can see it. And Dwayne Casey is trying to get him to play the point guard position the right way. Tell me you heard that before I lay Brown and, uh, Reggie Jackson just refused to play the position the way it's supposed to be played. Or maybe mentally he can't pick it up, you know, when to score, when not to score, um, and pretty much maybe all he all he is and all he can be is what he was at Oklahoma City, a spark plug off the bench. And I don't think he was that impressive in Oklahoma City. I think Dennis Schroeder is a better player than him. He's better than Stark, and he's better in the six-man uh, role uh, role uh, with Oklahoma City right now. He's a better starter in Atlanta, too, I thought. But uh, like I said before, you know, Dwayne Casey couldn't develop him. Stanley Johnson, he couldn't develop him. Maybe, you know, Stanley Johnson loses his mother, took something out of him. Maybe something that he couldn't get back, but ultimately, you know, his potential is, is just potential. It's wasted potential because he hasn't reached the ceiling and you couldn't reach your ceiling or you can't tap into some of that potential with a coach that's known for developing young talent, a coach that was infatuated with your defense, infatuated with your potential, and he couldn't articulate nothing. You know, he can't be consistent. One time he have a good game, next game he non-existent, next game he injured. And those are just the players are not that good. That's just what it boiled down to. Let me cut the BS. Jackson and Johnson ain't that good. J&J, &J, garbage and garbage. They suck in the system. Now, could they leave and do a Spencer Deal Willie or Aaron Afalo or, or go somewhere else and, and, and be really pretty good off the bench? Yeah, it could happen. Maybe, he, you know, Stanley Johnson go to the Spurs and become an all-star. It wouldn't shock me, but it ain't happening here. You know, it ain't happening here. And it ain't happening for Reggie Jackson. I think Reggie Jackson is a is a con is one more year away, you know, after next year to playing in the Euro League. And that's if they want him. You know what I'm saying? That's if they want him. I think he's a step from being a, a Euro League player or going over to China to get a check. You know, it's not a Dwayne Casey fault. They're asking him to to really uh, make you know uh, you know not so good players into you know all stars or 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 formidable players, and, you know, no coach can, you know, make Jackson into anything. I think Jackson is what he is. I thought he was overrated in Oklahoma City. I like Brian, Brandon Jennings, but the worst thing that happened for us was Brandon Jennings tearing his ACL, and they got rid of him. You know, they got infatuated with Richie Jackson's sides. Oh, he's so tall. He got long arms. He's a big, physical, strong point guard, but he never had the point guard skills that Brandon, Brandon Jennings had. Excuse me for calling him Jackson. He never had the skills that Brandon Jennings had. Never. Brandon Jennings knew how to play the point guard position before his leg got tore up. Jackson never had those skills. 
And that was the best thing that they thought could happen for them was Jennings tearing his stuff up and them having an excuse to go get Reggie Jackson. It was a, a bad trade. Because Reggie Jackson ain't never fit with the Detroit Pistons. Never. And neither has Stanley Johnson. He's never fit in. You see Justice Winslow, he had a shaky start to his career, but he's eventually shook off those cogwebs, right? And he's had a form, he had a really, really good year this year so far. He's finally started to fit in and look like an NBA player and look like a borderline all-star almost with a little bit more work. Stanley Johnson's look nothing like an NBA player. Sometimes he's like an NBA player. Other times he like he deserved deserve to be in the G League or playing over in Israel, okay? It ain't Dwayne Casey for it. You know what I'm saying? They gave him players that are pretty much trash at this point in their career. Just don't want to be good with the Detroit Pistons. You know, you can do. You could be a developer. You could be a a, a developer, a, a, a player whisperer, and all that. But you know, when your player don't have a will or just had a talent or had a the real thought to be a good NBA player, this is what you get, man. But I appreciate everybody for checking in. Let me know what y'all think about the development of Jackson and Stanley Johnson, Reggie Jackson, Stanley Johnson, and Dwayne Casey. Is the Casey fought? Or if the player's not that good, okay? Don't forget, we on Facebook, Twitter. Also, you can reach out to me in the email or on Instagram. I appreciate everybody who's checking in. Video requests, questions, business, business inquiries. Hit me up on social media. Remember, after the 31st, we no longer be auto-sharing our videos to Twitter. So I'm going to need you guys to share to help out. But Marcy Sports, talking boy CJ Goodfellow.